period of bliss, kiss after kiss under red lighting, a struggle to find the words when all you want to say is thank you. Did you understand that? I didn't either. <laughs> That's because it's easier for me to hide feelings behind words and metaphors than just saying them. So, here we go. <laughs> I'm scared. Scared to see the people who sat smiling across from me as I was reading poetry blinded by steamy stage light leave. When they do, I'm scared they'll forget the glitter soaked sweat streaming down faces in a too fucking hot black box. I'm scared they'll forget the clothing swapped, heart stopping shots of $5 vodka spinning the wheel of life. Literally, <laughs> under the screaming of who gets the blue card and who has to use a bottle cap as a game piece. <laughs> but most of all, I'm scared I can't do these things without them. I'm telling you, every time in the school year to come, that I'll be standing here in the same spot you have and see your names on that wall. I'm gonna cry! <laughs> That could be 13 subway stops, three hours on a plane, six in a car, 44 on foot. <laughs> <laughs> While you leave, I'll find a new family here. Well, maybe not new, just more. Just like I did three years ago, <laughs> when I shared a legible scrawl to a girl in a blue paisley romper in the back of Collins. Just like three years ago, when I learned, leaned up against a chain link fence and put on my best grunge face. <laughs> Just like three years ago, when I saw an epiphany that murders can be told through poetry. <laughs> Just like every time I bonded over pink hair dye and sharing lipsticks and 5 a.m. nights and a comfort and vulnerability, I can promise you, you won't find anywhere else. So, yeah, I'm scared. But thank you. I'll miss you. I'm scared. I'll miss you.